Hello traders, John at StockBookie.com. Today we're looking at Facebook, Apple, and Amazon. We file the daily, weekly, monthly time frames. We use technical analysis here at StockBookie.com. If you like these videos, go to my website, sign up, it's free, or click down here in the bottom right-hand corner and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Traders, if you're looking for a new broker, check out CobraTrading.com slash promo slash StockBookie. Best in the business, been using these guys for years. If you're an active trader looking for a new broker, check out CobraTrading.com. You won't be disappointed. All right, guys, so let's get right into the video. Facebook had uh, 27 million on the day. Volume is picking up. Not like we were when we were selling. Though. Even the selling wasn't too bad down in here, but great volume on here. I think they had earnings back in this section or, I don't know, somewhere in there. So uh, popped up, dropped down. Let's see. So we're holding. We were holding the 50 MA. Came back up into the 20 MA. We're back below it. So now we're back below the 50 MA. If we crack below this trend line here, I'm going to draw this one here as well. It's a little bit more support there. The big support though will be around the 175 area. If this area cracks here, we're definitely going to 168. 43 or wherever the 20 or the 200 MA or the red line is. Uh, we also do have a gap fill around 162.75 and we got some gaps to fill down here, guys. Markets are, you know, getting a little bit toppy, guys. We're getting a little bit of er erratic action with up and down every day. That's telling me there is a top being put into these markets. We had a great rally, guys, for the last nine years. Um, it's almost time for the bear to creep its ugly head out. So daily chart Facebook, if we crack these trend lines here, we're going to come down to this uh, low pivot, 169.43, and hit the 200 MA. If this does not save the day, we'll be going to the weekly chart. Let's see where the 50 MA is around there. So 164. Then ultimately, guys, if this thing starts breaking down, everything will be going to the weekly 200 MA, period. Trust me on this one, guys. All these have been high flying. Look at the monthly on Facebook. Facebook tar 150 at least. That will be my first target on Facebook. All right, guys. If this thing starts to come, you know, come in. If it does somehow, somewhere, start to move higher, then you're looking at the 196, then the 200 area. But we got to see more on here. Right now, we're three days sideways. If we keep going sideways, chopping around, we will be setting up for lower prices. The SPY, the IWM, the Qs, the DIA start going down. Everything's going down. I don't care what name it is. All right, let's look at Apple. We're going to go over this stuff uh, more on the weekend on my weekend update, so watch for those. But Apple, this is so funny. There's a, sorry, there was some trader out there, some donkey. Just keeps saying it was a bull flag, bull flag, bull flag. And I was saying until it gets up over these highs and confirms and keeps going towards the 182, 185 area, this thing's coming back in, guys. Every time it retraced, pulled back, retraced, pulled back, retrace into earnings, oh, and then slam, and then the market's selling. What was my price point when it was back in here? 200 MA. We did kiss it, so we did fill this big gap here. We did, did we fill... We did not fill the gap down here. We did hold these low pivots down here as well, too, around the 155. Again, though, guys, if this retraces back into this area, it's a dead-on short, especially if the markets are starting to give it up. So let's hope for all these things to shoot up higher because that will give you a better entry price to short these things. You got the 20 and the 50 curling down. You did close right below the 200 MA, so that's even a weak stance. So if the markets dump, this thing will be dumping with the markets just tighten the stops we did hit the 50 ma that was the other saving grace on this one right now so let's see on the weekly if we go sideways i'm telling you this could go to 121 again the 200 ma on the weekly as well remember staircase up elevator down so just be careful in these markets guys when we're making tops, it's erratic action like this. We're having 1,600 point drops. Then we're up 200, down 200, up 100, down. Look at the action today. Up, down, up, down, up, down. Now they're depleting or decaying the puts and the calls. You're not safe anywhere. Right now, we're doing a lot of writing calls and we're doing a lot of short trades. And that's it. We did buy some calls the other day. We sold half for over 100%. Second half, we're getting our butt roasted. But that was on the spy. So just... I thought I'd step up, see what we can do. Got the hell out in 10 minutes, held it, which I shouldn't have, but I did. Wasn't a huge position, but it was a good enough one where to make uh, half of it with 100%. Even if it goes to zero, it will be a break even, basically.
Actually, it'll be a little bit better than that. I'll make a little bit of money on it. So we'll see what happens. But if somehow, somewhere, I could get out of that spy uh, calls, I will. But right now, it's looking pretty nasty here. And then on the monthly chart, I can't wait. I'm going to do some good weekly updates on these, so keep an eye on that. This is what I was looking at Apple, too. Check this out. It was trying to get above this line, try and try and try, and that was the other thing too. Until it got above this line and actually confirmed, never did on the monthly either. You have uh, three tails here, a little bit of topping tails. Oh my gosh. This thing's going to 119. It's going to fill this gap right here. Put this on your calendar, guys. 121, it will be. If the markets start going lower, this will be a $100 stock again, guarantee. You know, I know all you guys are laughing, but uh, we'll see. When when Apple was 150 before, I was calling 90, and it went to 90, and everyone thought I was nuts. But when it hit 90, hey, what the heck? All right, so let's get through that, and then Amazon. Amazon's the only beast left. High flyer. My price target still in about a thousand. We got 400 bucks to drop on this thing. 967 will be the two or the 20 MA on the monthly. I mean, it's not going to go straight back down unless the market's totally just. Uh, cave in but uh, daily chart guys a lot of technical damage they had good earnings so you got by the dippers in here but look where this thing went when we were dipping 1323 if we get another couple more cells on this it will be 1250 1160 then you're gonna be right here filling this gap right at the thousand level it's, it's coming guys and uh, it might not be right now but just tighten the stops and be smart in these markets first target here will be the 20 ma on the weekly which is right around 1200 bucks we hit that and we're just going to stair step down there's no way in heck when this thing goes from uh, 2016 at 475 bucks to 1500 just an unhealthy move this needs a bigger pullback it's actually down Wow, the spy just turned three bucks down now. Oh my gosh. Uh, even Amazon's down six bucks. Oh my gosh, more pain to come, guys. So be careful in these markets. Just tighten the stops. Don't think these markets will go up forever. This thing's still high flying, guy. First stop will be around the 1200. I still think this thing can get to a thousand. If it gets to a thousand, maybe a buyer. Honestly, at the end of the day, it's the 200 MA on the, on the weekly, which is at 660. Man, oh gosh, I'm looking at these charts and just, just in awe of what, what's, what could possibly happen, guys. So remember, tighten the stops. Don't get greedy. I mean, if you're in this thing from 700 and you're at 1400, sell something. Let this thing come down. Take the profits and move on. Damn. I'm going to go into the spy real quick, guys. 327. My gosh, we got to hold these areas, guys. If we start getting below the 20, on, and the weekly close, if we're below the 20, you better step aside on these markets, guys. It's going to set up. It's probably going to retrace, come down, retrace, come down, retrace, come down. Just be careful. Man. For me, it's great. We've been shorting these markets for the last couple of months, and we're catching a lot of these moves. We had 63 trades in January. We covered about 43. We had five, 43 winners, five losers, and I believe it's 16 or 15 we're holding, mostly in the money. And if we get a bigger pullback, all those will be in the money as well. So, all right, guys, that's it. If you like these videos, go to my website, sign up. It's free. Don't forget to click here and uh, subscribe. And don't forget to press the like button. Like these videos, guys. Tell your friends about them. Share them. Whatever you got to do. If you follow me on Stock Twits, uh, we're going to have a lot of great things coming up. I haven't done anything in the last couple of weeks, guys. Just uh, been super busy with my kids, with softball, volleyball, uh, what else? Uh, I coach, so uh, just uh, family before anything, guys. That's the way it always is. All right, guys, that's it. Um, with these three, just be careful. If the, if the spy, the cues start to dump, these are going lower, period. Just be careful in these markets. Tighten the stops. And uh, start taking the little bit short positions. If you can't short, take the SDS, take the QID. I think it's the TWM for the uh, for the Russell, or take the the TZA is a little crazy because it's a three times three times ETF. But just go smaller. If your normal position's ten grand in a three times ETF, go five, just in case you don't want to get killed. And another one too, guys, buy SCO. That's the short to oil. Oil is about to collapse. You want to catch that move. SCO, SCO. All right, guys. Thanks again for coming, watching my videos. I really do appreciate it. God bless. See you on the charts.